back to my channel. I'm Vicky and I love all things fragrance, body care, beauty, and I love a good haul. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you miss any of my uploads. Okay, first of all, this has absolutely nothing to do with the video, but y'all, it is basically 10 p.m. Okay, 10 p.m. I've had this makeup on since 8 a.m. The only thing I have done is add new lip gloss. And I literally just took my powder puff and blotted a little bit in here. <laughs> I am shooketh. Anyways, let's get into the video. Okay, y'all, I have some empties for you. My bag looks pretty full. And I have stuff that is not even in the bag. So, yeah. You want to see all the things I have emptied over the last few weeks? Then just keep on watching. So, here is the bag. It's a Target bag now, child. Because ugh, those Bath & Body Works, the Bath & Works bag I had, the reusable one, you know using it over and over and over with things spilling in it it was just feeling very gross to continue to stick my hand in there <sighs> and every time i pulled it out it would be wet oh Anyways, I still have to say nothing. Let's get into the empties. So first, since I just did my Project Use It Up update, I have those empties pretty much sitting right here in front of me. I'm just going to start here again. I have Golden Vanilla. This lotion here is empty. Um, if In case you don't know this about me yet, um, I only cut open the Bath & Body Works creams because they're thicker. So I feel like cutting those open, I'm more likely to find more products still in the tube as opposed to something that's not as thick in consistency. So yeah. Anyways, Golden Vanilla. Empty. Um, I could be one and done. I would probably just stick to the fragrance mist to this because, like I've said, for the umpteenth time... Maybe not, but I'm low-key over some of, like, these other lotions and creams. Not fully, but, you know, to an extent. So, I have my few that I like to reach for and just use that as my lotion base. And I can use pretty much whatever fragrance mist. So, I'm trying to get to a point to where I don't have 200 lotions and creams. Oh, I'm getting off track. Let me move on. <laughs> Next here, I have Rouge Elixir from Victoria's Secret. I don't think... Actually, I think I do have a backup set to this. I know I have a backup mist, but I'm not 100% sure if I have a backup lotion. And if I do have a backup lotion, it may or may not end up on my card. I don't know. Um, TBD. I told this ain't nothing. Let me move on. Next here is Basic Vanilla. <sighs> it's cool. Not a scent that I felt like I needed to have after I actually started wearing it. So I do have another lotion and I have the mist to this still. Uh, I don't know. The lotion might just have to go bad. I might just toss the lotion because I feel like at this point it's not worth keeping. I think these are these are from 2021. So if I find the lotion somewhere around here, I'll probably just toss it anyways. So yeah, this is something. It's a cool scent. Didn't doesn't really knock my socks off. So next here is a lotion to um Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow. I freaking love this scent. It's like this creamy um, peach. It's like this just very sweet, almost syrupy, creamy peach scent that's so good. I still have um, some of my fragrance mist left. So I'm just definitely enjoy that. Next here, I have Fresh Getaway. Empty. I might have a mini of this and i think i still have um a body butter in this so yeah again not a scent that i'm like necessarily over the moon about but you know whatever 
Next hair is Fall and Bloom. I, pulling this out for Project Use It Up was actually the first time I had started wearing this. And it was so good. I was like, wow, I've really been missing out on this. So honestly, in the mist, definitely I would purchase a full size. I'm not 100% sure about the lotion slash cream because of what I have just said. Next here is Buttercups and Berry Bellini. Empty. I feel like I have a backup lotion to this, so I'm not out of the scent. Um, it's a nice scent. I definitely enjoy it really more so for the spring. So um, I will definitely continue using the mist because I haven't finished that yet. Next here is uh, Sol de Janeiro number 40. Freaking love this stuff. Can't get enough of it. I do have this in a um, full size, but I'm going to hold on to the bottle just so I can transfer some of the liquid over so it's easier for me to use because those big bottles can sometimes be a hassle to use because they're just a little too big. So yeah, I'm just gonna hold on to that bottle. Next here is the Mini to Fall and Bloom. I definitely know I have one left and that might be it. I don't wanna hoard it to save it, like to savor it, but I don't know. I kind of want to hoard it, but I also put it in my use it up box, so I might end up using it. So we'll see. Love this stuff. What we'll repurchase next here is Into the Night. Empty finally. So for now, one and done because this stuff's so strong, so it takes a while to get through. I really do like the scent. Hmm. But I also have Dream Bright, which is kind of like this, just a little toned down. So it's not something I necessarily need. And I have Dark Kiss, which I have barely used. So yeah, again, not a scent that I necessarily need to run out and repurchase right now, but maybe down the line, I might repurchase this. If not in a full size, maybe a mini. Next here is a Fairy Tale, also empty, if I could see. So, Another scent I really enjoy. I, I'm not sure if I have a backup mist. I can, I need to check my box of shame. That's what I'm calling my backup box. It's my box of shame. Um, anyways, <laughs> I will check to see if I have a, another one of these. If not, it's fine. Um, because I have the perfume and I might have like a little perfume spray and I have leave. So not necessarily something I need to run out and repurchase. And I don't even think this is available now anyways. Next here is Pumpkin Cupcake. I really do enjoy this scent. Like y'all, this with Angel Share, Camera, that um, cream puff butter, fire. Like you can't tell me nothing. And the Pate Sucre one um, that my girl Kate uh, had created with Scent Crafters. Fire. I do have a backup mist. The, the packaging got messed up. Um, I will say this. In the event uh, you store your items laying down like this, don't do that. I learned the hard way that they can and will leak. So some of my mist had leaked out. Uh, it was a while ago when I figured out that that's what was happening, which is why I bought more utility carts so I can just stand them up now. But uh, quite a few of the backup bottles, the packaging on them have gotten messed up. So I opted to hold on to them instead of like trying to get rid of them. But I still have to say, store your stuff standing up <laughs> and nothing. But I'm going to hold on to the empty bottle just in the event I want to take pictures like with the scent um that i still have left of this if that makes sense next here is whipped rose latte y'all love this scent smells like roses vini it smells like a little bit like intense cafe so rose vini from Sarah, intense cafe from montal you can even get a delina vibe from here so 
I do have a backup, so I don't need, you know, to worry about trying to repurchase. So, yeah. So, that's that's just the backup stuff. I mean, not the backup. The project use it up stuff. So, let me get into everything else. I'm actually going to get into the stuff that's not even in the bag because the bag's too full. So, first here, I have red, white, and blue cake. This is red raspberries, ripe blueberries whipped vanilla cream and soft white cake i love this candle it's one of my favorite candles smells so good so edible this might be my last one i if not i might have one more left i'm not sure but i love this candle and if i see it again i will repurchase next here this is cinnamon spice vanilla in paris cafe y'all see it's not even like burned all the way so the wicks Two of them like got stuck in the wax, stopped burning, and I didn't love the scent at all, so I wasn't putting it on the warmer. So I would not repurchase, and I think I bought two of these, so I have another one, and oh, I don't know. Um, The notes, anyways, the notes are rich roasted coffee, vanilla creme, ground cinnamon, and sugar crystals. Again, would not repurchase. Next, I have some Dove soap. Staple for me, will always repurchase. Next here, I have this Even Tone Cleansing Bar from Urban Skin RX. This is my second one, and I would repurchase this. And honestly, I kinda wanna try this for the combination skin they have. I think it's like an orangey color, just to see, you know. So not something I necessarily need to run out and repurchase, but I would be interested in trying it out in the future. And then next here, I have a mini deodorant. This is Secret Clinical. This has become my new favorite deodorant. I'm so grateful to my twin for putting me on to this. So next, I have a couple of makeup products. I'm not sure if I have others in the big bag. First here, this is the Polish Choice Omega Complex Cleansing Balm. So um, to me, I didn't notice a huge difference between this versus other cleansing balms I've tried. So I probably just use a cheaper version, but I am grateful to have tried it out. So thanks to my blue likes for putting me onto this. Next here, this is the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder from Danessa Myricks in the universal slash translucent color. As you can see, I use this. This is one of my staple products for my everyday makeup routine, which I did one. So check that out if you're interested. Next, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray and the mini size. I'm going to keep this bottle because I do have a full size bottle um, and I feel like it'll be easier for me to just transfer the liquid from the big bottle into this one so I can use this, you know, in the event I travel. So yeah. Great. I love to have this. So I don't have to repurchase another travel. I can just buy the big bottles. All right, let's get into the bag now. So first here, I've got some mouthwash. This is the Hello Peace Out plaque. Really enjoy this mouthwash. What we'll repurchase. Next, I got a couple of body scrubs. First is the Peach Please from Soap and Glory. All the beads kind of sank to the bottom. So by the time I went to use it, it was... I didn't like the texture, so there's. we're going to start with that. I had to stir it up to get the beads to kind of redistribute themselves. But yeah, I just, I didn't like it and I would not repurchase. Next here is the Dragon Fruit Scrub from Tree Hut. Um, those little, those little seeds, I... I keep saying to myself to not buy scrubs that have them and then they keep showing up. So I didn't even like the scent. I like that. So I would not repurchase. It was it was okay. It was pretty meh. Um, next here is the Tropic Glow Scrub. Um, I don't love this. I don't love this scent. Maybe more so like in the like butter or I, actually it was the mist that I did like. So, mm, I would not repurchase. I had already had this and had been sitting around, so I had to make myself use it. 
Next here, I have another box of Dove soap. Again, staple. I've got this Dove Renewing Peony and Rose Oil Body Wash. I like this. Um, I actually got this for free, but I could see myself um, buying this again. Next is this Dove Foaming Hand Wash and Aloe and Eucalyptus. Actually didn't mind the scent, so I wouldn't be opposed to repurchasing this. And I think this was on sale for like 75% off when I found it. Next is this Frosted Cranberry Scrub from Tree Hut. Let me see. Did I like this? Because I'm not sure if I actually like this or not. It's okay. Um, Probably one and done. Next is the La Roche-Posay Purifying Foam Cleanser. Underwhelmed a little, I guess. Um, so I will probably not repurchase this. So yeah. Um, next here is the Fall and Bloom Moisturizing Body Wash. Thoroughly enjoyed this. I'm trying to think if I had two of these or not. I don't know if I have a second one great if not whatever if i saw this again like if this comes back i will probably repurchase you know if there's a good sale next here is the boardwalk taffy shower gel i think this is my second one um i'm trying to get through these shower gels so i need to stop saying i repurchase but hypothetically if i didn't have any body washes or shower gels or whatever i wouldn't be opposed to having this in my collection next here i have a another oh, is stuff on here <laughs> I have another mouthwash from Hello. So I actually have two of these. So a mouthwash I enjoy. Next here, I have Melon Sorbet. It took me forever to get through. It was like down here and it took me forever to get through this. Um, probably I'd probably be one and done with this. Maybe down the line if I'm interested in this scent again i wouldn't be opposed to getting another mist next i have some of these grin tongue cleaners would repurchase and i also have some of these gain laundry pods mm. one and done next i have this love cacao rolls body wash one and done next here is this briogeo scalp revival um, charcoal coconut oil shampoo. I did buy this in the full size. It's cool. So I don't have to repurchase. I have two hand creams. One is in Love Cotton Candy Champagne and one is in Fall and Bloom. Actually, this I got, this was gifted by my twin and I had already had this. Um, I could probably be one and done simply because I have a ton of hand creams to get through and I don't need no hand creams no time soon. But when I start running low on hand creams, then I'll start considering like adding more to the collection. Next tier is the Equate Moisture Care Cocoa Divine Oil. I, it's the dupe of the Vaseline one. I liked this, made my skin feel nice and supple when putting this on after a shower. I would definitely repurchase when I need an oil because I don't need an oil, but that doesn't stop me from buying them. I'm gonna move on. <laughs> Next here is Whipped Rose Latte. This was in Project Use It Up, and I hope I captured this in my other video, but if not, it is what it is. Next here is the Hello Toothpaste. Wood repurchase. Next here is the Brazil Body Scrub from Trader Joe's. I have one left, so I don't have to repurchase. Um, I might, I might repurchase if it comes back again this summer. Next here is the Lavender Vanilla Scrub from the Aromatherapy line for Bath and Body Works. One and done. Next is the Into the Night Lotion. One and done. Next here is the Golden Vanilla Shower Gel. One and done, and it looks gross. Next is the Body Fantasies Cotton Candy. This is not empty. I don't like the way it smells. Next here is the Goddess of the Sea Energize. It's a feminine wash. So I thought I'd say it's a feminine wash. 
something with these products that's got that peppermint i don't want no fire down there okay i don't i don't like that i don't like it okay like no mm -mm. i don't want that tingly yorkshire peppermint patty she that that don't need to be no peppermint patty okay okay uh, no no and i and on top of that I didn't even feel clean when using just this. I felt like I had to add my L brand wash with this anyways. So yeah, it's more so that burning because it, it felt like it was burning. I'm move on. I'm going to move on. <laughs> Next, this is the strawberry body wash from Tree Hut. Absolutely enjoyed this. Would repurchase. Next, these are the Naproxian, Naproxian, <laughs> Naproxen sodium um, tablets, which is basically a leave. Would repurchase. Next, this is the fresh deodorant from, if I can get it to focus. If not, it's the fresh deodorant from Dawkins. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't need another deodorant because I have bought three. So I'm currently using the pink cotton one. I would repurchase this. However, what I will say with the Dawkins deodorant for me personally, as long as I'm not doing any type of physical activity like that require that I will start sweating, it lasts all day. You can smell it, it's very fragrant. But I feel like as soon as I do something that requires me to like move around, I don't feel like it's as effective then. So specifically i um when i work from home i just wear it even when i go into the office and it's like chilly i'll wear it but as it starts to get warmer and i start and i'll start to go for like walks during lunch i'll probably wouldn't wear it because i went to like a recruiting event you know to recruit like college kids and i had to help well, not help i had to set up I just felt like that deodorant was like wearing off on me in real time and it wasn't it wasn't a good feeling so yeah would repurchased will not use when I have to do any moving around next here is the bikini reef scrub from tree hut one and done actually let me smell this again because maybe it wasn't one and done <laughs> it's okay one and done Next here is the Love Cacao Roll Scrub. This was my second one. It's not done. The scrub just started to annoy me. So I was like, you don't have to put up with that. So I just said, we're not going to finish you. Next here is a full set to Pink Velvet Cupcake. Whew, it is greasy. Let's... All right. <laughs> really enjoy this scent. I do have... A backup I do have a, I think I do have a full backup set but the packaging is messed up on that one from the mist it's okay because this one's greasy and gross anyways so yeah um and then the butter the cream chow okay next here I have the secret clinical in the gel the stress response and I actually do like this and I bought the gel by accident I was looking for the solid but I actually do like the gels too. So I can do either the gel or the solid for this. Next, oh, let me just take the top off. Ugh. This is cozy Sunday morning, one and done. Next here, I have three of these Airwick refills. I'm pretty sure they're all that fresh linen scent. Um, I will continue to repurchase. Next is this Dove um, hand wash, antibacterial hand wash would repurchase next here is a bar of dial soap would repurchase next here is the strawberry pound cake pocket back don't need to repurchase i have plenty of pocket backs now next here is this trader joe's peaches and cream lip balm this came in a full set of like six of them so i don't need to repurchase i didn't like this one the one I'm using now is the coconut one, and that one feels much more moisturizing on the lips, so I don't know if I'm going to have a different experience with the rest of them as well. Hopefully, they're more moisturizing like the coconut one, because this one I found I kept having to reapply to my lips like every hour. So it came in a set, 
so i don't i don't know right now if i repurchase the set but if i saw this by itself i would not pick it up again got another dove soap got two room sprays one in cozy linen and one is in sun drenched linen i love both of these scent profiles i would repurchase i have two brow pencils one is the brow kiki from one size in dark brown and the other one is the sephora brow pencil in number 11 ebony will repurchase these next here is the one size setting spray on till dawn in the mini staple would repurchase next here is the strawberries and cream butter from body butter bakery absolutely enjoyed the scent but i might i might be good with just one and, like one and done so i can start trying out other scents in her line and last but not least i have two fragrances the first one here is spun sugar found this at marshall's did i say 59 oh this is not I was like did i say 59 um one and done and then oh yeah this is first of all there's stuff on my hands touching everything anyways this is cocoa and cashmere from dawkins obsessed i love this i love this scent profile i love this scent so much so i want to repurchase bad i don't feel like i need to run out and grab it because i do have two different oils that have the same scent profile so i could get away with trying to use that i don't know but at some point cocoa and cashmere is coming back to my collection i don't know when but it's going to come back to my collection so that's everything that i have emptied out over the last few weeks i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in my next video.